What's up YouTube, it is Trophy25 and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you guys my best gameplay of Call of Duty and Team Deathmatch. Uh, but first let me say thank you to everyone that I subscribed. We officially hit 400 subscribers uh, and I really really do appreciate that. I'm going to continue to grind videos out along with playing Call of Duty a ton. Uh, if you guys didn't know I am a 6th prestige already. Uh, basically just because of the triple XP that they were giving away at the beginning of the game. Um, if you didn't know, Call of Duty accidentally turned on double XP for the first four or five days the game came out. And, um, they added double XP, which in turn turned into triple XP, so we were flying through the ranks, so I grinded that really heavily the first four days. And now that we have double XP weekend this weekend, I've been able to uh, rank up even more prestige one more time, and uh, I get back about halfway through another prestige. Um, this gameplay is, uh, like I said, my best one ever. I was able to drop not only all my score streaks, but I believe I get paratroopers two times. I think I get it in the care package as well. Um, I'm going to be running around with the bar and some other guns that I will pick up along the way just because I'll run an ammo. So I always try to pick a gun up pretty early on. You can also get those nice payback medals, which will give you more XP to rank up. Uh, this is with my infantry class. Generally, I run rapid fire, extended mag, and either grip or um, grip or ordnance or grip or a sight, but I'm not running a sight this time. Uh, usually, my ribbon is going to be either primed or ordnance for team deathmatch. Um, I, if I play search and destroy, which I've been playing, I will be using either the mountain class or something like uh, incognito. I think it's called, uh, which makes your footsteps a lot quieter. Um, you'll see me try to take some of these long shots because this bar can handle it as long as you shoot slowly and don't open up fully auto all the time uh, because the recoil will bounce you around and you have to be able to get all those kills. So as you can see, uh, I put a little slower. I got 35, or within 35 kills I already got my paratroopers, which is like 11 kills. Um, so I was able to get that. Now I'm trying to stay alive just because uh, I want to get these paratroopers in here. I want them to do a lot of work uh, while I can just kind of relax and not have to worry about guys coming from the sides. Um, their paratroopers are one of the best kill streaks in the game. Uh, I haven't used the ball gunner other than in the score streak training. So uh, there's nothing really above this that I would use. The car bomber is pretty good, but um, you can't always uh, rely on that, especially maps like this where there's a lot of inside buildings. Um, so I'm at 17 kills right now. I'm about to drop my care package. Um, and I'm just going to keep trying to stay alive, play the game a lot slower. I find the slower I play the game, the better I generally do. Um, as you can see, I get lit up here, but I'm able to turn and jump shot that guy. So we're at 20 kills already. We're 20 and 0. Uh, we get our care package again, and we're going to get an artillery barrage out of our first care package. Uh, if you guys don't know, I do like to run care package. It's super easy to get. It's only uh, four and a half kills with a ordnance ribbon on, uh, which is going to allow me to get it every time I spawn. Uh, luckily enough, I do get paratroopers again. Um, so I'm 20 and 0 right now, and I have a second paratroopers in my pocket, just waiting to be used. Um, I finally am able to call it that in, and uh, I'm going to play a little more aggressive because I can see the match is coming to an end, uh, but I still don't want to die. I'm a little nervous um, during this gameplay just because I was going for the uh, the nuke, but not realizing that you had to get them all through a gun. So I'm going to be trying to bring you guys a new gameplay pretty soon. I've gotten close uh, using a UAV, counter UAV, and I think flak is what the other thing I'm using is. Um, but we absolutely dominate this team, 23-0. There's a couple near-death experiences uh, for me there. I've, I've gone to low health pretty much uh, three or four times. And during that three or four times, I uh, basically just try to back off, allow myself to regenerate my health, and then find where the enemies are spawning. The reason I'm able to figure out where the enemies are spawning so much is based off the map. So you can see my teammates aren't up above, or aren't up here. I was able to get that kill and uh, finally kill the last guy. If that wasn't the last kill, there's no doubt in my mind I would have died from the, uh, the my left side. Um, but thanks for watching my gameplay, guys. I will have some more face cams, uh, supply drop openings, and other gameplays coming soon. So until next time, YouTube, I'll see you later.